EVs just got exposed. Jeep CEO Carlos Tavares just dropped a shocking warning leaving all EV makers angry and confused. The Jeep CEO has just revealed the reality of the EV market, telling us how the market will crash due to the shady EV push by political leaders. Gas cars are going to come back and EV prices will soon fall by 40%. EVs might not be the future everyone thought they were, but the real reason behind it is definitely not what you think. Gas cars are selling in big numbers, while EVs are catching fire and rotting in dealer lots. Why do you think that's happening? Are EVs a scam? What exactly is Jeep CEO's shocking warning about the future of EVs? Well, here's what exactly happened. Jeep's CEO recently gave a shocking statement against EVs. This is something that the political leaders have been trying to hide for years, but now the truth is finally out. At Jeep's first annual Freedom of Mobility Forum, Tavares literally said, We don't have enough raw materials to build EVs. EVs are absolutely dogmatic, meant to rob the middle class. So picture this, Carlos Tavares, the big boss of Stellantis, you know, the giant that owns Jeep, Ram, and a bunch of other car brands, steps up and lays down a truth bomb that's got everyone from Tesla to Rivian reeling. Now, you might be thinking, what's the big deal? EVs are rad, right? Well, it's not that simple. See, making these electric cars cheap enough for everyone to buy is a huge challenge. And Tavares isn't just making wild guesses here, he's seen some stuff. Ford has been selling all their EVs at a loss, so is GM. And Tesla? They've had to slash prices three times in a single quarter to keep up with sales and even then, their issues are not ending. Jeep themselves has gotten involved in a massive scandal which led to them recalling thousands of vehicles, but more on this in a minute. Now here's where things get even more difficult for Jeep. The current leadership that is the Biden government is all in for EVs. But since the public has been literally begging them not to push EVs onto them, and even 4,000 dealers have sent thrashing letters warning the government against EVs. Now, Biden must not be hearing them, but Donald Trump is surely planning to. He literally said that if he wins the upcoming election, he will end the EV madness and get rid of tax credits on EVs so that the gas car makers also get a fair chance. If you're thinking removing tax credits is a bad idea, wait till you hear the full story on how it all benefits China. More on this in a minute. Now back to Jeep. Okay, we get it. Their sales are down, but what else did Carlos Tavares warn us about? Now imagine this. There are about 1.3 billion cars zooming around on the planet right now, and they're mostly running on good old fossil fuels. Tavares is saying if we want to swap all these out for shiny new EVs, we're gonna need a buttload of lithium. That's a technical term. But here's the kicker. He's not even sure there's enough lithium out there to go around. And if that wasn't enough to make you go yikes, he's also worried about where all this lithium is coming from. Currently, 80% of our EV supplies are coming from China, and Biden still wants to rely on China even after they've issued a shocking export ban lately so that our EV market crashes. The more we force our local companies to build EVs, the more we will rely on China and the worse it will be. If the tax credits are gone, currently, the companies which get an unfair advantage over gas cars will have a level playing field. And the Chinese will also not be able to enter our market with their low-quality EVs, trying to capture the U.S. market share. Even the big dogs in the EV world, like Elon Musk and Rivian's head honcho RJ Scaringe, are sweating bullets over this. They're like, yeah, we've got the tech, but where's the juice gonna come from? And it's not just about finding these materials. Setting up a new mine to dig this stuff up could take a decade, time we don't have if we're racing against climate change. Tavares also dropped another bomb. Banning gas cars like the EU just did might backfire big time. Instead of cutting down emissions, we might end up making those worse because we're not ready with enough EVs or the stuff to make them. All legacy automakers like Ford, General Motors, and Jeep invested heavily into EVs. They've all been forced to make only EVs, which led to one big disaster that no one expected. They lost touch with their best-selling product, gas cars. Even Carlos Tavares is currently in hot water because he's had to recall more than 300,000 cars in a single year. We're talking about over 32,000 of these bad boys from the 2021 to the 2024 lineup. And why, you may ask? Because they could catch fire. Yeah, you heard that right. Catch fire while just sitting there, not even running. So picture this, you've got this cool, eco-friendly Jeep, right? You're feeling all good about saving the planet and whatnot, but then bam, you find out that your shiny hybrid could turn into a barbecue grill without even a heads up. Stellantis found out about this whole fire fiasco because some Jeep owners had their vehicles catch fire while parked. 
And get this, in most cases, these Jeeps were just chilling, connected to their chargers, minding their own business. It's not just the Wrangler 4XE getting all the attention. Jeeps got a whole lineup of other models facing some of their own recall drama. We're talking about over 340,000 Compass, Grand Cherokee, and Wagoneer models that have issues with their new interior tech. Like some Compass models have this glitch where you can't adjust the instrument panel's backlight. Imagine driving around and you can't see your dashboard because it's either too dark or too bright. Total facepalm moment. And then there's this whole mess with the Grand Cherokee, Grand Cherokee L, and the Wagoneer models. Their cameras aren't playing nice, especially when you're trying to back up. And in some cars, the airbags and the brakes tend to fail in critical situations. So what's the deal with these recalls? It's like Jeep got so caught up in the whole EV and hybrid hype that they took their eyes off the ball with their gas cars. I mean, that's their bread and butter and the ones bringing in real money. And now, because of all these quality issues, they're having to pull back thousands of vehicles. Plus, our charging network is barely functional in remote areas. And even in bigger cities, over 30% of the chargers are either overcrowded or not functioning. And when the temperatures fall below zero, these EVs start to lose charge faster than a mobile phone while gaming. And here's the gut punch for the middle class. EVs are already pricey, right? Now that China has put an export ban on raw materials, prices are further going to go up until our market completely crashes. The day is not far when we might see even the most basic EVs selling for seventy to $80,000. So what's the solution for this? Jeep CEO thinks that instead of banning all gas cars, we should start replacing current gas models with hybrids instead. Companies like Toyota and Honda are even exploring some alternative battery tech like ammonia and hydrogen, which might be able to replace EVs one day. Tavares isn't just worried about costs though. He's looking at the weight of these EVs too. In order to hit that sweet no range anxiety spot of 400 miles per charge, EVs are packing on thousands of extra pounds compared to gas cars. This makes EVs incredibly unsafe, and we're also having to use a whole lot of extra raw materials to protect those batteries because even a minor scratch can fetch you a $50,000 repair bill. All in all, Tavares is calling out governments saying don't turn climate change policies into a weapon for global trade wars. With all the subsidies flying around for EVs and clean tech, it's like we're setting up for a showdown, not a solution to climate change. So what's the bottom line? If the costs of making EVs don't come down, and if we can't figure out a smarter way to go electric without breaking the bank or running out of materials, the middle class is going to be left in the dust. We'll be waving goodbye to the dream of affordable, clean rides for everyone. It's a real wake-up call. The whole EVs will save the world narrative is hitting some serious speed bumps, and it's not just about the environment or technology. It's about making sure that the future of driving is something that all of us can be a part of, not just the folks with fat wallets. Should companies be listening to the political leaders so much? Is the Jeep CEO right about his warning? What do you think? Are EVs too overpriced right now? Let me know down in the comments below. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.